industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. The Morning Blaze is bringing justice to the movies. Hello? Hi, is this Ashley? Yes, it is. Ashley, we're calling to tell you that you're behind on your student loans, but we have... No, uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hold on, oh my hold God, on. That is not surprising. No, no, I'm kidding. Uh, it's uh, E. Curtis Johnson and Justice from The Blaze. How are you today? Hello, good, how are you? So you went to see uh, Sonic the Hedgehog last night with Justice. How was the movie? It was good. It was really good. I honestly think the best part of it was Jim Carrey. Uh, it seemed kind of like him back in his heyday, you know, right back on his game, which is amazing. And it was nice to see him in something again. So was he the voice of Sonic? No, he played Dr. Robotnik, bad guy. And he was hilarious. Well, he's always, yeah, he could do a villain. That makes that makes perfect sense. Now I got to ask you: Were you uh, were you a Sega player, or I don't even know if that company's still in business? But were you familiar with with Sonic as the character in a game, or did you just go because it was a free movie? Um, I was familiar with it. I played it maybe a couple times when I was a kid. We were a Nintendo family, so you know we had Nintendos, and but. Uh... I never really knew much like about the game or anything, so I wasn't really sure what to expect because they've done so many like game into movies lately, it seems. So, but I was very pleasantly surprised, and I, I mean, frankly, I'll go see anything with Jim Carrey in it. So, okay, so a Jim Carrey fan, that was the draw. Well, yep. as, aside from the Jim Carrey angle, the movie as itself, would would you go see it again? Would you recommend people see it? I would. I'm actually going to take my daughter to see it this weekend, and I think it it kind of like towed the line as, you know, kids are going to love it because, oh, look, it's blue and he's silly, and adults will like it because, you know, it has a lot of, they did a lot of, like, you know, references to the actual video game. Like, there was, like, a little moment where, like, they did, like, some music that was, like, everybody recognizes from the game, or, you know, obviously the rings are there, so it was, you know had that little bit of retro but also had other stuff well very good anything you'd like to add no i would just like to say thank you guys for just taking me and my brother to the movies it was awesome well no problem uh, maya cinemas uh you know gives you the the red carpet treatment there so uh shout out to them and thanks uh, for them yep and thank you-, you so much maya cinemas and thank you 105.1 you're welcome you have a great day Okay, so what's uh, what's your take on the movie? Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I, I do agree with what she was saying. Definitely, I think kids are really going to like it. It's you see a little blue guy that's really fascinating, is really silly. Um, Jim Carrey was hilarious. They 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 obviously they know when you have Jim Carrey, you have to give him kind of his own moments in the movie. <clears throat> so he did have a few just kind of solo things where he just gets to be Jim Carrey. So he was riffing then. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, definitely he riffed. And um, even the guy that played, or did Sonic's voice, his name's Ben Schwartz. He's a comedian, and uh, I, I follow him kind of close. I've, I've been a fan of his for a while, and you, I can definitely tell where he he's famous for improv, so he definitely improv a lot of lines, too. So Excellent. Yeah. All right, so were, did, now, did, were you a Nintendo guy? Did you play Sega Systems? Was that before your time? Uh, it was a little before my time, but I do know the character, and I played games with sonic i remember they had an arcade game uh at a pizza place in stanger that i used to play sonic with so i i love sonic uh like i said she there were a lot of references to the game itself so like they didn't they obviously strayed a little bit from the game because they had to make a story for a movie but they still managed to reference a lot of stuff to keep it game centric so that i thought that was done really well and like she said it was it's kids are gonna like it because it's a funny, silly guy. But then the story was actually very family based, so it, 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 it's an adult story, but also it's gonna have that attract for the kids and stuff like that too. Right. So. But bottom line, wh- whether you've ever heard of Sonic, <laughs> I, I, I remember that sounder. I never played it, but I remember however it was the commercial Sonic. It was you know it was funny how they did it. Yeah. But does the movie stand alone by itself? Yes, absolutely. It does right. so well. There's there there's the take home. Yeah, totally worth checking out. So a recommend from Justice. Yes, definitely. Right. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies 
and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. (laughs) 